Alrighty, looking at, looking at what we're given, that, not an acid, not a base, it's a salt. Other ways of knowing pretty much everything we've seen that starts with sodium is going to be a salt. Really any group one or group two metal combined with some non-metals will be a salt. Um, metal and a polyatomic that we're not familiar with, but still a polyatomic ion, a whole bunch of non-metals. So it's a salt, therefore this is hydrolysis, which means I want to break my salt apart and see what's hiding in it. Salts will dissociate with a single arrow. The simplest thing that can fall off does fall off. Um, it's often something from group one or group two, um, or from the second to last column with chlorine and fluorine. Um, there should be some ion that comes apart that you know, that's easy that you know the charge of. Everything else sticks together. And since this was positive, this must be negative to balance it out. Now, reacting those ions, testing them each against water, will help us figure out if this is going to be acidic, basic, or neutral. So I know if I'm doing a weak acid or a weak base problem. Sodium's positive, it'll react with the negative part of water, leaving H+. But this is a strong base, so this reaction never happens. Strong bases won't stick together, they're just going to dissociate. This is negative, so it'll react with the positive part of water. It doesn't matter if you where you stick that H, but it'll release hydroxide. This is not strong, therefore this can happen. Since this reaction happens and produces OH, we know we're dealing with something basic, which means I need to do a weak base problem using that ion. At this point, because we know we're doing a weak base problem with this ion, you should be able to find this on your chart in the weak base section. If not, you probably did your original dissociation wrong. So I don't check the chart at any point up until right now. Um, it takes too long. I'd rather just know, okay, that's strong, this doesn't happen. That's not strong, so it happens. Um, using your chart only is gonna matter for moving forward mathematically. So this is on the chart. I'm gonna do a weak base problem with it. For weak bases, I add water. Um, they'll steal an H and release OH. So yes, we end up with the same reaction we just had there, but it's nice, I think, to separate in your head, testing against water, figuring out if it's a sick or basic, doing a weak base problem. Um, zero plus X is X, zero plus X is X. This side will be minus X. I just need a molarity of CHO2. I don't have a molarity of CHO2, but I do have the molarity of NaCHO2 of my salt. My salt and my weak base, same thing, are in a one-to-one -one ratio. So therefore, since this was 0.75 molar, this is 0.75 molar, and can go in my ice chart. Now that my ice chart's done, because this is a weak base, I can do a KB equals products over reactants. I want the KB of my weak base, CHO2, it's about halfway down the first column, 5.3 times 10 to the negative 11. Point 0.75 times 5.3 times 10 to the negative 11. Square root of that, I get an X value of 6.3 times 10 to the negative 6. X represents my OH, so when I negative log it, that gets me my POH. Subtract from 14, and I get my pH to be 8.799, so 8.80.